Yes, you read that correctly. The jellyfish is a mortal creature. Isn't it like godly powers that could help humans live longer lives? Hello, amazing people. Welcome back to our Another Unfold. If you are a first time viewer or have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go down below and click the subscribe button. We are confident you will enjoy our content. So, let's get started and discover something new and exciting about the immortal jellyfish and what do it means for science. Turritopsis donei, also known as the immortal jellyfish, can live indefinitely, and scientists are investigating whether its properties can be applied to humans. There is a fountain of youth, and a tiny species of jellyfish can be found swimming in its eternal waters. No, not exactly. There is an invertebrate capable of immortality but it does so not through its swimming location, but rather through its unique biological makeup. Turritopsis donai, a tiny invertebrate found in both the Mediterranean Sea and Japan, is the only animal known to be biologically capable of reverting to sexual immaturity after reaching adulthood. Because there is no limit to the number of times it can revert to a near-infant state, it could conceivably repeat the process indefinitely, making it immortal. The immortal jellyfish, formerly known as Turritopsis nutricula, was discovered in 1883 by scientists while swimming in the warm waters of the Mediterranean. It would take another century for scientists to discover the species' unique abilities and to realize that the immortal jellyfish's long life wasn't some otherworldly blessing, but rather an attempt to save itself from the dangers of the deep sea. So, how exactly does one go about living forever? If you imagine these creatures as thousands of years old, you're not technically wrong, but you're also not quite right. Turritopsis donii, like all jellyfish, begins as a larva developed from a fertilized egg to form what is known as a planula. These free-swimming planulas spread out on their own, eventually settling on the ocean floor to form a colony of polyps that grow upward from the seafloor to form a cylindrical shape. A medusa, or jellyfish, develops from these polyps and breaks away from the branch after reaching adulthood in a matter of weeks. The newly adult jellyfish, which measures 4.5 millimeters, about the width of your pinky fingernail, is distinguished by its bright red stomach, which is visible through a transparent, bell-shaped body line with 90 tentacles around its edges. This tiny being may not appear to be much, but its unique survival ability allows it to adapt to a wide range of environmental threats, from physical harm to starvation. For example, suppose a Turritopsis is starving, the average jellyfish would perish from starvation, but not this one. Instead, the immortal jellyfish will try to revert to sexual immaturity in order to get a second chance at life. This means that the immortal jellyfish will effectively recycle its existing cells to form a new self, a process known as transdifferentiation. In terms of physical process, this means the jellyfish will retract its tentacles, shrink its body, and then sink to the ocean floor. The jellyfish then regresses into a sexually immature larva, forming new polyps until it reaches adulthood again. As amazing as that process is, it does not necessarily imply that the jellyfish is immortal in every sense of the word. For example, by a predator, for one thing, the Turritopsis can be killed. Furthermore, as James Carlton, a marine sciences professor at Williams College, told the New York Times Magazine, the word immortal is deceptive. If you mean immortal in the sense of passing on your genes, then yes, it is immortal. However, those cells are no longer the same. The cells are immortal, but not the organism as a whole. Nonetheless, the immortal jellyfish is an incredible creature whose abilities may have some application for humanity. Turritopsis donia is known for catching rides on large cargo ships to reach new waters far from home. In addition to its incredible survival skills, because these tiny hitchhikers are showing up in warm waters all over the world, they have piqued the scientific community's interest once more, this time inspiring those working on stem cell research. Transdifferentiation is particularly exciting for researchers because it does not necessitate the formation of a new cellular makeup. Scientists and researchers are looking to this biological marvel for clues on how to regenerate damaged human tissue to treat a wide range of medical ailments because the non-stem cells found within each jellyfish can become virtually any other type of cell through this process. The scientific community is looking to Turritopsis donii for new ways to manipulate cells, taking cues from Mother Nature herself. In fact, a recent mouse study found success in using gene manipulation to induce fibroblasts, a type of architectural cell in the heart. 
to transdifferentiate into cardiomyocyte-like cells, the essential muscle bundles that allow the heart to function. While researchers have a long way to go in understanding how the process that gives the immortal and immortal jellyfish can benefit humans, significant progress is being made one step at a time. This is surely an exciting stuff, but work in progress. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more such interesting and ultimate info we bring to you in our next releases. And we are sure you will like them and love to share them with your friends and family.